This video is presented by EA Game Changers as you can see and thank you to those guys for giving me some assets here to showcase in this video. So let's take a look at the trailer here guys and what I've basically done and I've slowed it down so you guys can get a good look at it and like it says in my a title there, what does the trailer show? What do you see in the trailer? And that's the question that I have to you guys. I'll give you a couple things that I see. But basically, man, what I'm starting to recognize is the trailers are really not intended for the hardcore. I mean, I've said this repeatedly. I know a lot of guys, you know, in the hardcore community, they want to see gameplay. I understand your, you know, your complaint. I understand your concern, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you have to understand by now, man, it should be clear to see that this is the way that they're going to choose to market Madden and other games and even other companies. It's just basically the way they choose to market their games. You know, these trailers are hype trailers. They are intended to give you a teaser, a sneak peek, and intended to get people hyped about a game and maybe, get, you know, those who may not be buying the game on a regular basis. It's intended to get those guys involved as well. All right, so what do you basically see in this trailer? What I see in this trailer is a huge emphasis on a lot of the things that was posted in the deep blog which I'll do another video on that as well later on. But basically, you're seeing the real player motion, the real player movement, uh, the emphasis on tackling, and the emphasis on impact and the physics being upgraded. And that's what you're basically seeing in this trailer. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, to my knowledge, you know, this is gameplay. I don't know if it's, you know, actual gameplay or if it's stage gameplay or what have you, but I can contest to the fact that I have seen these things in the game in my time playing the game, comma, but this, you know, the version of the game that I played was before EA Play. Okay, so the game that I had my hands on and I've had an opportunity to see in advance twice now is before EA Play. Most of you guys already know I am not at EA Play. I didn't attend EA Play this year, just coming back from vacation. All right? But basically, that's what is being showcased here. It's showing you the interactions and the animations between the players. Also, the player signatures here that they talk about with the quarterbacks. Yes, I have seen this working in action. You're gonna see these type of signature animations. I can't recall if it's for all quarterbacks or not. I'm sure that and you know, question will be answered by the dev team. But I definitely know that you know they're starting to go in that direction of getting some authenticity and player likeness. Uh, like it says in the blog, that they're basically starting off with anim with uh, you know pre-snap animations from quarterbacks, as well as things like uh, you know signature celebrations. I would only hope that that would lead to you know more signature and more of those mannerisms and traits you know being able to be you know showcased in the game in other areas all right but that's what they're basically showing here in this trailer you know you're seeing the the push to power mechanic here there's a couple things that i didn't necessarily like in the trailer um i didn't really like the way that pitch out looked you know to uh burkhead there from tom brady uh, but there's a lot of other things that i can look at here you know in this particular footage i'm not really showing any suction tackling um, I'm showing a difference in run animation right there. That's not the typical run animation that we've seen. Uh, we'll have to see how this plays out as far as that little juke right there. Doesn't appear that the defender was caught in a fake out or what have you, but again, we have to see how that pans out. And here's the uh, Burkhead situation here again. Shaquem Griffin right there with the one hand. For you guys that have been following the NFL in the draft, we know that he's the kid, you know, the brother of uh, the other Shaq Griffin and Seattle, the cornerback, the twin brother, you know, had some complications with his hand, had it amputated, I believe, when he was four years old. And, you know, he's just a wonder story. A lot of people have been following his story. He's gotten, gotten drafted to the Seattle Seahawks as well, along with his brother. And they are able to showcase him having the one hand in the game, which I think is a nice touch. Didn't necessarily like the way that Baker Mayfield is, you know, clutching the ball here. And another thing I don't necessarily like is how, you know, throwing the ball across his body here, you know, it's a perfectly thrown ball. Not saying it can happen, but I mean, again, we've seen this in years past how uh, that's one of those things that we're not necessarily happy about. So I definitely, you know, we need to keep an eye on how that gameplay transpires as far as, you know, the ball being affected, etc., etc. 
but that's you know really a couple little things that i'm able to glean you know from this particular trailer again guys you know i'm in a tough situation i've played this game but i played it before what you're basically seeing i would assume this trailer is a little later on than the version that i played as well as i haven't played the latest version i.e ea play you know so it's not a whole lot i can really you know really give my opinion on in terms of good bad yay or nay because these things haven't been flushed out and they're not finalized but that's just my quick thoughts on the trailer guys again like i said i'll be making more videos discussing a lot of the other information that has come out so stay tuned for that if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notifications hit that like button and we'll definitely catch you in the next video all right that'll do it for now until then let me know what you think peace